The same system can be used in any electrical wiring installation, either in buildings or behind a car's instrument panel. A localised fire is quickly extinguished. The pressure gauge indicates a discharge has occurred unless an audible alarm or flashing light on the dash is fitted as well. But that's all very well for a relatively small underbonnet fire. What happens in an accident if you're trapped in the car, perhaps unconscious, in a pool of burning petrol? Well, we've got that pool of burning petrol, which my assistant is going to set a match to. This test car is equipped with another cylinder and a line running round the underside of the engine bay. So let's see what happens. The device certainly seems to work very effectively indeed. It'll be available on the aftermarket, but I think it's too important to leave to somebody to decide to fit to their car. It's something all manufacturers should be fitting as standard. And just to show this rather singed Vauxhall Cavalier still works. Well, let me just repeat Chris's warning. Please don't try out those experiments for yourself because, of course, they can be very dangerous. That apparently anonymous car park was at the fire extinguisher factory itself. We had lots of skilled people standing by just out of sight in case something went wrong.